everybody this is Laura with McLeod Homestead and with the holidays and stuff it has gotten completely crazy around here I did take videos but I never got a chance to sit at the computer and put them together so I don't know if I will do that with them I might just scratch it all and just start fresh now um, today is the 29th I am getting growing fever, playing in the dirt fever, whatever you call it. Um, I'm a little discouraged with some things in the basement. Um, some things are doing excellent. I will give you an update on that later. But what I'm going to do currently, because I want to play in the dirt, and the weather has been unseasonably warmer here. So there's a couple things I'm going to try, and if it does get too cold, then I'll just bring the stuff in and put them under a grow light, but let's take you through what I'm going to do. So come along. Okay, so I have brought these up, and I'm going to, I've got a bunch of radish seeds that I am going to put in here and try and grow. And I've just played with the dirt. I've grew radishes in this already a couple times and they did good. So, we're gonna do it again. My little guy's watching his brother out the window throw wood down. So that's what you hear there. So. So, I'm just going to take, see this is the shorter one, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on this side we'll do seven across, or seven down two. They say to give about two inches. And just poke them down. And just cover them up. Woohoo! So that one is all ready to go. We'll give it. The, the, the dirt's already damp, but I'll give it a little extra water. Here's the next one. These are old uh, plants. I just kind of leave them in there. And then this one. I usually do ten and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mom, what's that? Nine. Yeah, I screwed up. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, just poke them down and then just they're all done. Don't just spread it real easy. Good job. Okay, all done. Good job. Thanks for the help, Bubby. So now I'm just gonna give them a little. No, nope, I'm gonna just give them a little spray of water. What, oh, honey? No, nope, no, nope, mommy will do. And then we're gonna set this over the seat. So if any water drips out the bottom, it goes in the seat. 
going to do it with this one too. Give it a little drinky drink. Ah, uh, mommy will do. Drink, 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 drink. Where's your drink of water? No. No? You all done with your water? And there we go. Okay, so for right now, until these germinate, I'm going to leave them in the house right here by the vent so they've got good heat and so they can germinate real quick. And then what I intend to do, well, I'll give you an example. I will take them over. I've got more containers like this in the greenhouse. I'm going to take the radishes over to the greenhouse and put them under things like this and see how they grow. This is my lettuce I brought up from the basement. It's kind of leggy and I'm not liking the looks of it. I'm going to give it a couple days, see what it does out here like this. If it gets cold at night, all I got to do, carry this container in the house. I'm good to go. But if it starts doing decent, I'll probably take that over to the greenhouse also. And there's my little helper sitting at his picnic table watching watching lettuce grow, I guess. <laughs> okay, so here's an update down here. This is a mira pepper. It's growing good. Notice how close to the lamp it is. This one kind of died out. Can't see in there. So I don't know if it's going to make it or not. My Swiss chard, all leggy. Pak choy, Brussels sprouts. Apparently they didn't like this grow light. They want to go to the other light. This is my kidney bean. I put three seeds in. I got one. It's doing excellent. My chives. Got some coming up. This is a new zucchini plant I had started because my other one died. Well, it got too long and it broke and died. This I've left. I do have seeds starting to sprout in there. Same with this one. They are starting to sprout. This is my kale. Not really doing much of anything. Another kale. This is a spinach. These are Jimmy peppers. They're doing really good. These are the peppers that I brought in from the greenhouse. They are doing excellent. I got a bunch of little peppers starting. Uh, like right here's one. See that? I got peppers growing on it. This is a tomato plant from last year. Well, well, will be last year, but this past growing season. Still growing, still doing good, but no tomatoes on it. My elderberries, more pepper plants. Still waiting for ginger to come out. More pepper plants. More pepper plants. This is my borage. Two out of the three plants have died out. Waiting to see what happens. I might put that in a regular pot. Those are sweet potatoes. Starting to make their slips. My bean plants, I have been getting some beans off of. Which I am happy about. Right now, we don't have much growing on them, but... We have gotten some beans, and of course, the first set of beans we had to just pick and eat. This, I switched the kale over to this. I took one of the plants out, see if it would do more. I think this kale I'm going to take upstairs and put out with the lettuce. Cucumbers. Still growing, or still here, still kicking, not doing great with their growing. I think this corner's a little too cold with them, even though we got the wood heat. 
I think they needed to be warmer. See, I've got beans growing, which is awesome. Very, very happy about that. See, there's another one down there. Got beans on. Hey everybody, this is Laura with McLeod Homestead. And guess what? We're picking some beans. Our first green bean from the basement. Yay! There's two of them ready on this plant. And we go around to the other side. And I think I'm going to give these just another day. But we got one here. So we're starting to get beans. Yay! Exciting! On this one growing, this is Alex's experimental tomato plant. It's doing good. So, yep, this is going to go upstairs. I just decided. So, that's just an update down here in the basement. Um, those are sweet, sweet chocolate peppers. Still waiting on my coffee beans if they come up. They take a couple months. The okras got tall and it bent over and it looks like it's dying out. So this is another zucchini. It is sprouting. I checked the seeds yesterday. Here are the two, looks like cucumber plants that somehow got over here. And they seem to be doing good. If need be, I'll just tie them up and let them grow up the pepper plant. We'll see what happens. One other little tidbit. I've got a mouse or something in down here because this and this look like cucumber plants that my seeds keep coming up missing. And this is a pepper plant from last year. So, wouldn't have had any seeds put in it. So, we'll see what goes on with them. But, just a quick little update. Thanks all. Toodles. But, kind of aggravated. Was hoping to have lettuce and kale by now. And, and some Swiss chard. But, Trial and error. Trial and error. That's all it is. We came over to the greenhouse this morning. This thermometer says to for about 46. We go to the one by the door. And that one says to four, 44 degrees. So almost close. This is an example of what I am talking about. I'm in the greenhouse, got another greenhouse. Let's lift this up. Now see, that is all lettuce I started that is sprouting. Got some there. And I've got some there. So, this is the experiment I am trying in the greenhouse. My... Carrots are still growing. They look like a bunch of mess, but my carrots are still growing in here Some of them are starting to look good just watered them the other day because it was almost 60 degrees out So I came over and I siphoned some water out of there that barrel because it's got fertilizer and stuff in it watered the plants put some extra water in here just a little bit though so gave them some water but these are the uh, artichokes 
So they're supposed to look kind of crappy right now, I believe, from what I've read. This one's looking the best. So that's all I've got. I covered my chairs and stuff with plastic because this, as you can imagine, with the heat and the cold and the condensation drops down a lot of water. You can see it on his sandbox. I keep his sandbox covered with the pool and you can see where condensation has dropped. And I did put a little cover over these. And this one looks like it's might be surviving. That There's another one back here. That's supposed to be spearmint. So we'll see. Let's take a little walk out here. It's raining, so bear with me. This is going to be quick outside. Alright, so let's open up in here real quick. And I do have, I believe, those are lettuce. I've got lettuce. I've got pak choy. That looks like pak choy there growing over there. Got some lettuce, and I still got some beets growing. Might put a couple more seeds of something in here now. But I do have some stuff growing in there. Lock that up. Okay. And then I noticed the other day I had Swiss chard still growing. So. I went and got an old window to put over it to protect it, let it grow more. So that's what's up there. And I planted winter wheat in here. Not sure if it's really growing at all. Of course, my chickens got in here right afterwards, so I don't know if they ate the seeds or not. Knowing them, they probably did. We can walk down here real quick and see if we see any growing down here. That's what I did with my cattle panels. Just laid them flat. And not sure if I really see anything growing. But a lot of weeds. But we'll be starting with a clean slate here didn't work that well um, all came unstuck had a bad windstorm lifted it right up off and not only did it lift it off but broke the zipper so that was a flop so we're just kind of keeping it covered just keep coming over and throwing it back on there Throwing the compost under here, trying to keep as much as the moisture off. As you can see, it is starting to turn. I am starting to get some dirt, which is awesome. Okay, guys, that's just an update of kind of what's going on around here. Not a whole lot, not a whole less. <laughs> Doing a little bit here and there. Having some successes a little bit. Some failures, making notes, and going to try different stuff next year because I'm not going to give up with having fresh vegetables and stuff in the winter. Will not give up. And I will not give up to have some outside growing. I will continue to work. I will continue to struggle if need be and find what works and what doesn't. Thanks all for watching and have a good day. Have a happy new year and God bless you. Toodles.